Guys was like, you ever think about Benavidez? Would you fight him? I'll fight him, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Then why you, you know, not getting I'm saying he fight anybody. He ready. Right. You know why, that. You I you know what I'm talking about. Why, you know, why they not letting you fight this guy? It's I got like, this guy got me calling him the Mexican monk. Everybody's scared of this guy. I hear nah, you saying man. you want to fight. I, I just think his value is low. It's not worth as much as uh. Oh, fighting, God fighting. damn. What's up, y'all? So I ran across this video today uh, with uh, Jamar Charlo on Mike Tyson podcast. I haven't watched the full interview yet. I'll probably watch it tomorrow, but... Going off of this clip, man, I found this clip to be interesting, man. It seems to me that Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying, pretty much kind of like schooled Jamar Charlo in like a way. You know, not like down him, but kind of like, I don't know. I'm going to play the rest of it, but, it, you know, it's, it to me it's kind of like some advice. You know that I think Jamal Charlo should take in because his other fighters I think should take this advice also. Man. I like Canelo. I rather like get one of the best in the world right now that got a belt. Then why are you not fighting Can uh, I'm Canelo? Sure. I'm just waiting. Right. He called Canelo off for five, six years already. Then fight the next yeah. best guy. The See, I heard, I heard, I heard Jamal Ch Charlo say on his breath. He said, "Shit, we just wait. Like for what?" I don't know, man. I, I ain't. I don't really. I can't really rock with that. You know, I see what Jamal Charlo trying to do, man. It seems like these guys is just willing to fight anybody until it comes to a point where Canelo is ready or, or on some choose me type of shit. I choose you, like a nigga playing Pokemon or some shit. Like Jamal Charlo, just think he just supposed to pop out the ball. And then just whoop a nigga ass. I just feel like he called out uh, David Benavidez like last year and he was popping his shit. Like, you know, he'll come up. And then he reneged, you know what I'm saying? He, he'll come up to, uh, what, 168. He reneged on that and was like, man, you come down or some shit like that. No, 175. Where Benavidez fight at 175? No, 168. So, uh, Jamal said he'd go up to fight David Benavidez, but then he turned around and was like, man, um, he, he got to come down to me. Like It just seemed funny because niggas just heard you say out your mouth that you would come up. And then with this little clip on Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson trying to tell you, like, man, call, call, call him out, man, fight the next best guy. I believe that's how this should be. You should be trying to knock all guys down and fight all the tough competition because, you know, people got on Canelo ass like the other, uh, I think like last week or some Canelo was like, man, them guys need to fight each other. Now I fight the winner. You know, it, it is a lot of pressure on Canelo Alvarez in a way, even though I, I feel like he, they both on some bullshit because I look at what like Earl Spence doing at 147. He fought Sean. He fought Danny. You know, he was willing to fight Keith Thurman. He he, he trying to fight Uga. He wanted to fight Bud. Like, he going down the line. But at the same time, those guys were fighting each other already before, you know, right when Earl Smith was trying to get out. So they were too busy fighting each other. So it's a, it's a different situation. But at the same time, it's like Canelo ain't trying to fight all you, he, all you niggas at the same time. He do. He, I, I believe he is going, you know what I'm saying, eventually fight these guys. These guys just trying to wait. I'm saying, why not go pick up some bags? You know, you picking up little bags. I can't say little bags because these guys are getting somewhere millions of dollars to fight. But what I'm saying is, like, you can be doing more. Why not fight Benavidez if you calling him out? He the next best guy, man. Y'all niggas should be fighting. You know what I'm saying? That'd be exciting. And plus, Mike Tyson just said on the podcast, make it sound big, you know, you know that kind of promote the fight a little bit. But it could be a big style. fight, man. We got Dave Benavidez, a nice upcoming Mexican. We all know, man, when it, when those Mexican and black fighters clash, it it makes some noise. You know, the winner get Canelo. It forces Canelo 
it shortens your time up shorter. I know I'm going on a rant, but like it shortens the time up. You have to wait for Canelo because I said the same shit about Bud. When Bud was sitting back, chilling and shit, fighting niggas like fucking, ironically, the other Benavidez brother, Jose Benavidez, fighting nigga, uh, Jeff Horns and shit, all these other different guys when he could have been fighting the next best guy. He eventually fought Sean, but you could have been doing that shit already on the second or third guy. He could have fought Sean and Danny Earl Spencer would have fought a couple guys, and then y'all niggas both would have been done at the same time, and then boom, that's that big class. See, Canelo, let me play some more. I'm, I'm going in. Ooh, Benavidez. He ain't no Mexican monster. Oh, we got nothing nobody's scared of him. Nobody's, nobody's fighting him. No, uh, we box. We not yeah. scared of no human on earth. Please call him. I'm people. not saying I really like that part either. Like, we, as if he talking about all fighters combined, man. Some of them niggas scared of others. You can't fucking, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you can't tell me. All these niggas got big boy nuts. And big hearts around this motherfucker, man. Stop it, bro. Keith Thurman was scared of Earl. Other niggas be scared of other niggas. And plenty of other divisions. You know, it, it, it is a level of fear. That's why when them niggas get in the ring with the other guy, it's more than just respect. They get them running around and shit. They don't really trying to get hit with certain punches. They ain't really throwing punches because they scared to get hit back. Nigga, that's a level of fear. That's, scared. that's being scared. He scared of him. He talking all shit to press come get in the ring with nigga. Then you start running from a nigga like bro. These niggas be scared, bro. Jamal on some bullshit, but he got a nigga named Mike Tyson in front of him who ain't scared to ask some certain shit because when reporters and shit ask some shit, niggas be scared to ask Jamal shit because he be clicking on. Him. You ain't really click on Mike. Mike ain't no hoe, and you on the big boy platform, so. Listen, the whole world's looking at you. Call these people out. What's please. up? It's the Jamal the Hitman Charlo. Let's get it. Who won it? <laughs> Name them names, man. They know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The <laughs> names need to be named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican. I like that that point. Like, <laughs> name the names. Like, nigga, for real. Like, that's what Bud was doing at the end of his fights. Remember? It, oh, man, I want, they all know who I want to nah, We don't know shit, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? That was, that was, that was Bud was saying. Now that was Jamal saying now like he saying shit like man they know they know let me go back again cause that that that, that kind of bothers me man I ain't gonna lie when niggas do that shit. Yeah, yeah. Name the names, please. The names need to be named. They know who that is. The Mexican monster. Yeah. Hold on, we're doing the rest. Won't it? Name. <laughs> Look, Matt, you call these people What's up? This is Jamal the Hitman man, Charlo. Let's get it. Who, who won it? <laughs> Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The names need to be named. <laughs> they know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. They know who they is. I don't know. We know, but other niggas need to know this information, my boy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like these bosses, man. It's understandable, man. I ain't knocking it. A lot of niggas got big egos and shit, so... I feel like it ain't no problem with naming their name because even if you feel like you promoting them, if you really feel, even if you feel like you the big, the bigger name and you promoting them, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, it ain't like uh, Benavidez is a small fry. He's still a nice ass name, bro. He is a guy who's in a bucket potentially for not fight Canelo also. He, it's a, it's a uh, possibility that he can actually. Fight Canelo before you, so it's like let's say after see this is my problem. After Canelo, right? After you fight Canelo, it's other niggas out there for you to fight. Those guys. It's like these guys waiting on Canelo to beat them. So then they can fight them. And then that way, when you do that, the people gonna say, Canelo already beat him. So you trying to beat Can these guys trying to beat Canelo after they trying to beat these guys after Canelo already beat him. So they can be like, oh man, he fought Canelo. Like, no, nah, bro, you gotta hit get him first, bro. He's uh he's a op. 
That's why Bud was supposed to fight Sean earlier, fight Danny earlier, because so that way they can be like, man, I fought him before Earl. So y'all would have fought faster if you 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 take her something to work too. Come on, man, these guys be tripping, man. It is what it is, man. I feel like Mike Tyson gave Jamal Charlo, you know, he kind of like, you know, OG the young boy, man. Like, he just told him, like, man, say the name. Like, he trying to help promote y'all shit. <laughs> he trying to, like, kind of help promote y'all shit in a way. Like, say the names. Man. Damn. But right, listen, the whole world's looking at you. Call these people out. What's please. up? It's the Jamal the Hitman Charlo. Let's get it. Who won it? <laughs> but you would say Canelo name. These guys ain't got no problem saying Canelo name, but then you expect Canelo to call your name. But you're a lower name than him. And you expect him to say your name, but you act like you too big to call somebody name who ain't on your level, which I believe they really be there. It's actually somewhere up there with you. So it ain't like, come on, man. <laughs> These dudes tripping mall, mall wilding, man. Say, come on, man. Think he need to fight David Benavidez. That way, when Canelo done with them yieldrums or whoever the fuck he finna fight, Triple G, or however that go, then ain't nobody in the way. Plus, you build enough hype to the mega fight because anything brought to the table makes the fight bigger. You know, whatever you do on your end. You know, what you trying to have Canelo 90-10 you, you know, the more noise you bring to the table, the more leverage you bring to the fight, which makes the fight big, bigger, ultimately brings your bigger bag. So what the fuck is they tripping, man? It is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you ain't subscribed already, and I'm out, y'all.